Hey YouTube, AVHD here with another unboxing and review. We've already unboxed this, but we were testing out a new camera and it was really low quality. So we're going to re unbox it and re review it with our normal camera, the HD one. Here it is, the iBeats by Dre. And inside we have the Beats by Dre logo flap and then sound really matters. I've never listened to this before. Well, I have just for the review purposes, but nothing else more. Here's the iBeats by Dre case. It's a soft case, so it's kind of bad for your headphones if it gets knocked around a lot. Metal part, or the magnetic part. Pretty high quality. Next we have the quick start and warranty guide. Nobody really likes to read those. Monster problem service cards and the monster what is this? Information to the product. Put these aside. Here it comes with uh, six sets of extra headphones. The it goes smaller and then to bigger and then it has the ones that actually go into your ear canal. And then the here's the earphone clip, just in case if you're working out or something like that. So the earphones themselves. Ooh. Put these aside. Here's the earphones themselves without the earbuds. As you can see, it's a full metal housing. If you can hear that, they're really nice. It's a really nice, shiny finish. And the, uh, where is it? Here's the control talk and volume, volume up, volume down, and the control talk middle button. It's a lot better than the tours because the tours on the middle button, it's really, really small. So it's kind of hard to stop your calls. There's the microphone. The wire feels really nice. It's like, you can tell it's high quality if you feel it. There's the splitter and the straight jack. I'd rather have an L jack because usually when it's in your iPod or in your phone, like over here, if it's in your phone, like that, usually you can just knock it around and it'll, it'll like mess up the wiring and then like it'll end up one of your ears don't work and then both of your ears don't work, which is what happened to mine. It is gold plated to prevent rust and this part is the same color as the headphones, as you can see. And that's it for the unboxing. Okay, so for the sound quality of these, they're really nice headphones, but they're way overpriced. For a price of $100, they're pretty overpriced, but if you have the money and you're looking for pretty good headphones, these would be the the nice nicest earphones you can get, really, besides the Taurus. The Taurus, I think, are a little better, but those are a little more expensive. But these look really nice and they feel really comfortable in your ear you don't really feel like they're there uh, except it's a little cold or if it touches your ear around the metal part and the sound quality is great you can hear the highs and the lows and the mids and the bass is like really really good so overall if you have the money these headphones are the, are the headphones to get